What if the first cries of a newborn didn't come from a mother's womb, but from a machine? What if the world's most advanced robot became pregnant? China just announced the world's first humanoid robot designed to carry a human embryo to term. A humanoid robot with an artificial womb built into its abdomen. It's not science fiction anymore, it's here. But is this the future of humanity or its end? On August 8th, Dr. Zhang Qifeng, a PhD from Singapore's Nanyang Technological University and CEO of Kaiwa Technology, dropped a bombshell in an interview with Chinese tech outlet Kuai KG. He revealed that his team has developed the first humanoid robot with an artificial womb inside its abdomen, a mechanical mother capable of nurturing an embryo for up to 10 months and delivering a human baby. So how does this pregnant robot actually work? The secret lies in a technology called ectogenesis, artificial wombs. Scientists have already used this tech to keep premature lambs alive in fluid-filled sacs, nicknamed biobags. Kaiwa's robot takes this one step further. Inside its stomach is an incubation pod filled with artificial amniotic fluid. A nutrient tube mimicking an umbilical cord delivers oxygen and nourishment sensors constantly monitor growth, adjusting temperature, fluid, and chemical balance. In theory, the fetus could develop exactly as it would inside a human mother. The price tag? Just about 12,000 euros or $14,000. That's cheaper than a Tesla. And apparently, it now comes with the option of life itself. Animal tests, Zhang claims, have already been successful. And within a year, Kaiwa Technology wants to sell these robots on the open market. Not toys, not gadgets, but walking, talking, childbearing androids. Sounds revolutionary, right? But here's where the drama begins. Supporters hail it as a breakthrough, an end to infertility struggles, a safer alternative to dangerous pregnancies, even a solution to the controversial surrogacy industry. For couples who dream of children but can't conceive, this robot promises not just hope, but delivery. But critics, they call it dystopian, a frankenwomb, a dangerous attempt to play God. Medicine still doesn't fully understand the mysteries of human pregnancy. The hormones, the immune system, the neurochemical cocktail that bonds mother and child. Can a machine simulate that? Can a motherboard ever replicate maternal love? And then there's the ethics. Who's the mother? The egg donor? The buyer? The robot itself? Imagine a courtroom case where custody is fought not between humans, but between a human and an android. The questions don't stop there. How will a child born from steel hips and circuitry feel about its own origin story? Will it bond the same way? Or will humanity's oldest relationship between mother and child be irreversibly broken? But here's the twist that almost no one is talking about. This isn't just science, this is strategy. China's birth rates are collapsing. Fewer women want children. Couples are struggling to afford them. Demographers warn that a shrinking, aging population threatens to cripple the nation's economic future. So what does Beijing see in this pregnant robot? Not just an experiment, but a weapon against demographic decline. If successful, this could become state policy. Robots raising children, not just as personal choice, but as national necessity. Forget the nuclear arms race. Welcome to the uterus arms race, where nations compete not in bombs, but in babies. Now picture this, a future where parenting is decoupled from biology, where women are freed from the burden of reproduction, where population decline is solved not by people, but by programmable pregnancy. Some call it liberation, others call it an abomination. But either way, if China leads this frontier, the rest of the world won't be far behind. The legal chaos alone will be explosive. Who owns the child? The commissioning parents? the company that manufactured the robot, or the state that regulates it. And let's not ignore the cultural earthquake. For thousands of years, motherhood has been the most sacred human bond. Strip it away, hand it to a machine, and you don't just change families, you change the very definition of humanity itself. We used to fear robots taking our jobs. Now they're coming for our labor pains too. Dr. Zhang Qifeng says his robots will be ready in one year. Maybe, maybe not, but even the claim itself forces us to confront the unimaginable. Maybe the real question isn't, where do babies come from, anymore. Maybe the real question is, will tomorrow's babies even come from us at all? So I'll ask you, 
Is this the next great leap for humanity or the moment we surrender what makes us human? Robots were supposed to build our future. Now they might give birth to it, but is that the beginning or the end? Would you trust a robot mother with your child? Or is this the line humanity should never cross?